There's a reason he's still with us, and there's a reason he's going to continue to be with us. So he's going to grow up to be something special someday. Yep. A miraculous life-saving surgery gave a Tampa Bay boy nine years of life. But is this young survivor now running out of time? And will there be more like him? And we're taking action for your health tonight with an update on a heart transplant patient that we first met nine years ago. Ask nine-year-old Jaden Langan why he's in the hospital. Uh, that's a hard question. And he doesn't really know, but his father does. It scared me to death. It saw me. Since he had his heart transplant, we knew at any time he could go into rejection. I'm gonna get you better real soon, I promise. I first met Will and Jaden nine years ago at All Children's Hospital on a night when Jaden's life hung in the balance with a heart defect doctors couldn't repair. I waited with his parents as his new heart was transplanted and doctors came back with good news. It's our heart. Our baby's heart. Since that night, Jaden has been relatively healthy, and Dr. Jeff Jacobs has gone on to transplant more than 100 other hearts into dying kids. When we put a new heart in a little baby, 80% of those babies, 8 out of 10, are alive and doing well five years later. And probably 7 out of 10 are still alive and doing well 10 years out of later. 10 years after the transplant. But the fact is, heart transplant surgery is still relatively new, and no one knows how long these unique kids will survive. So when Jaden came in Friday in stage three rejection, his parents feared it was life-threatening. If the heart function is severely affected, then, um, then it can be life-threatening. Right now, doctors are treating his rejection with medication. They'll do a biopsy of the heart to see if the medicine is working. If not... Occasionally, after a heart transplant, a baby's going to need a second or a third heart transplant over the course of life. We don't know what, what the future holds, but uh, we hope that we'll come out with new medications that will uh, keep these kids alive until they are in their 50s, 60s, and have um, kids and grandkids. Every day is a day we might not have had with them, so you just take that day. Jaden's family has set up a Facebook page called Jaden Strong. If you'd like to follow his progress, you can head over to my Facebook page and I'll link you to it. And you can also watch the story I did nine years ago when Jaden was just a little baby. I will also post that after the show at Linda Hurtado WFTS, just like the page.